Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can connect or import your Excel workbook data into R. So if you are an experienced R user or recently started using R for doing the analysis work, you must have observed that the most preferred approach which is talked everywhere whether blogs or in books is the importing the CSV file or a comma separated value files uh, as a preferred approach into the R. But like any other business user, even for me, uh, I receive most of my data into different kind of Excel workbooks. So every time uh, if I have to, you know, save the workbook in CSV format and then try to import it in R, kind of a, a one more manual step into doing all this different kind of analysis within the R. So it, how good it will be, you know, if, if we are directly importing the Excel workbook data instead of um, converting the Excel workbook into CSV and then importing it into the R. So the package uh, of interest in this case is the Excel Connect. So here I'm in this package section where I have uh, already installed the Excel Connect. If you don't have, then you can simply go run this command install.packages and just mention Excel Connect. But since I have already in my or installed in my R system, R Studio system, so I will just remove this. Now I need to use it, so I will put a command there, library, and the name of the package. Once it is loaded, so it is loading all the required solutions and everything, uh, the packages which it needs to connect to the Excel workbook. And then uh, we can start doing or start importing the Excel workbook. So for that, what we can do is we need to first define the uh, workbook. First, defi first need to upload uh, the workbook, and then we need to read the workbook. So to load the workbook in an object, we will specify a custom object. WB1 means workbook one, and then take the or the load the workbook. Load workbook. So what it says need to specify the file name and create is equals to false that means you want to create it or not so let's go ahead and specify the file name by providing my preferred option which is file dot choose allow me to choose the file from my file system wherever it is and let's specify create is equals to true and a dialog will be open for me and I can go into the desktop. I have some stocks data which is here and I open it. So if I simply write WB1, it will just give me the indication of where the file is stored. So nothing can be done over here until we read it. So read underscore wb1 a new object we are creating to read the workbook one and we are saying read worksheet so what we can what we now need to specify the object that means the wb1 which sheet we want to uh, read that means sheet one two three we can either specify number or the name and then if we have any custom uh, settings like we want uh, row to be started from 10 that means reading the file uh, you know has a starting row value as 10 then we can specify it if not uh, if you are not specifying it will start it from right from the start that means uh, the first cell of the worksheet so uh, let's go ahead and quickly read it wp1 is the object and sheet let's say 1 and we enter it now since it has uh, read the <coughs> worksheet so let's try to write this here maybe like head because it has a lot of values so as you are, must be aware head is having uh, uh, or shows the first top five or six values so we had and name of the object wv1 so since the space is small that's why it has been truncated and shown in the next row so it is showing you the different uh, uh, values which it has read and after 
Once we have uh, stored this in this object, read underscore wb1, which will be of type data frame. If we are not sure, then we can put a structure command str and say read underscore wb1. You will see it is a data frame of 367 observations. That means the number of rows and 23 variables. That means the number of columns. And here are your 23 columns. So that's how you can quickly read uh, or import the Excel workbook data into the R system and start doing the analysis. And this will help in, in avoiding the conversion of uh, workbook or Excel workbook into a CSV file uh, into the R by utilizing this Excel Connect package. Now, uh, let's move ahead and see one other thing. Uh, so one, once once uh, once we once we have loaded the workbook by utilizing these two different uh, commands, um, what we can also do, uh, we can directly read the Excel worksheet in just one single step. So for that, uh, we have a different function. So let's say we want to read the same data file, wb2. Let's give it a name and. Uh, we will say read worksheet from file so this function earlier we have used read worksheet if you see it here but now in our in this case the second case we will use the read worksheet from file it what it will help is avoiding uh, writing this step load workbook in that case it is taking care of this step and directly reading the worksheet from the file so Let's go ahead and utilize this. So I will again use my option file cho file dot choose. It will open up a dialog to me, and from there I can read the file. And I would say create. I think the option is not here. Create file dot choose. I will simply go ahead and choose the file, and the file is stock data. So, what it is saying, let's evaluate this error because that may come uh, if you are just choosing or just specifying the file option. So, intentionally I have done it so that once uh, you can better understand it if you are just specifying the one parameter which is just file or choose. So, what it is saying, unable to find an inherited method or function read worksheet from signature workbook missing. So what it's basically saying in a layman language that hey you are saying that you want to read the worksheet but you have not specified the worksheet so let's simply go ahead and put one now and now it's again asking us to select the file and put a stop data. so now this time it has not given us an error so don't forget to specify either the sheet name as a second parameter or the num the number of that sheet that means the first sheet second sheet or third sheet now if i read by utilize the same hat read underscore w2 it will give us the similar values which we got it in two by utilizing two different steps and here in this case we are just specifying one simple step and getting the values right into our art system so after this uh, uh, one other thing which you can do and generally uh, it is available in your excel workbook is the named ranges so most of the business users even like uh, even i am uh, specifying the named ranges because it helps doing the calculation comparatively faster when specifying it uh, within those you know complex formulas so if I have a named range and I just want to read that from my Excel file, I can do that. So I would say WB and R, which is named range, and I can specify the function named NAME. So that is uh, first we need to specify the read. Just give me a moment here. Read name range. So again, you have two options here in this case, like a load workbook, uh, I'm sorry, the read sheet and read sheet from file. 
So similarly, uh, for first option, you need to first load the workbook and then utilize this function read named region. But if you want to do everything in one step, then specify read named region from file. And here in this case, we will specify the file name, which is like file.choose. And then we need to specify the name of that range. So maybe something like named range just an example i'm giving or we have like uh, geo values geographical values so whatever may be the named range as a second parameter you need to specify that named range so let me just go into the background and pause this video and create a range uh, to get the top 10 values and uh, then come back here okay so i have just defined the range in my worksheet the name of the range is the top 10 values so i have nothing that i have done is just selected the values and from the options of defining the name range i have given that range top 10 values so i will now go ahead and select the file which is on desktop and stock data so if you can see i did not find any error because i have defined what i need to import and now i can simply write this command and it will give me the values so as you can see i'm getting nine values because uh, i have uh, selected maybe like just 10 rows considering this header but uh, if you want to select if you if i would have selected the 10 rows i would have got the 10 rows based on the ranges that i've specified so that's how uh, you can read uh, in multiple options either directly from sheet by specifying the sheet name or uh, if there is any range uh, within your workbook you can directly specify that uh, uh, range and in that case we don't have to specify in which sheet it is present it will gonna directly choose the or the function will directly going to pick the range uh, based on the name it is specified in your workbook so in the in this video that's what i wanted to discuss mainly about the importing data and then reading data by utilizing these different these different options and in the next video i will talk about uh, how you can write data back to the excel workbooks so till then uh bye, -bye.